Good evening, KCOU listeners. My name is Zach Kearns, uh, the host of The Flying Breach Show and Hits and Misses on Friday afternoons. And I'm sure you're telling yourself, this isn't Friday. But that's because I'm here for a special occasion. And I am here to speak with the winners of the Shack Showdown. Uh, <laughs> that w- would be KCOU's Battle of the Bands that was hosted uh, earlier. What, what night was that, everybody? Just to make sure everybody knows. Uh, I think that was a Thursday, a Thursday night, maybe three weeks ago. Yeah, late, late March. March. Okay, yeah, yeah just, just make sure everybody's up to speed here. And <laughs> as you could hear, I'm not in the studio alone, as ridiculous as, and Todd rungren as that would be. Um, I am not the band in question, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves? <laughs> How's everybody doing? My name's Adam Weber. I'm the lead singer for Pluto's Still a Planet. Uh, this is Eric Wiedemeyer. I'm the bassist. I am Paul Gray. I am the lead guitarist. And I'm Rob Pikey. I play drums. <laughs> well, cool. And I guess the, the first question would be just sort of basic. Uh, how did you guys get here? What is the origin story of, of yeah, this band? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm from St. Charles, Missouri, as well as Eric and Paul. Uh, we went to Francis Sound North together. And we all played music in high school, but never really in a band together or anything. And me and Eric lived together. And we wrote some songs and started looking to fill out a band and we came across Rob also up here in Columbia and everything just kind of came together last October. Well, cool. Uh, and how would you all describe your sound? Um, if I had to describe it, I'd probably say funk rock. Yeah. (laughs) Funk rock is the quickest way. Um, when people say, you know, like who do who would you describe yourself as? I'd say what we're trying to do is kind of bring, Sublime, 311, late 90s, early 2000s style to the raunchy Cage the Elephant, Black Keys style that's coming out today that refers to a lot of classic sounds. I, that's that's an interesting... I'm not, I'm not sure if I've heard anyone describe themselves that way, so <laughs> the, I'm definitely excited to hear what that is. That's a, like the, the great grandsons of Funkadelic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys are looking yeah. to change your band name, that's... Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> great grandsons and fucking delicate. Well, there you go, <laughs> great grandsons. But uh, I guess now that we know, if you guys would you like to play us something here? Um, yeah. Do you, uh, do you want us to do the acoustic song, or do you want to play a song off the EP? There. Let's do the song. Uh, the first track off of our EP is uh, called Reason. Let's let's get. Yeah, that we just finished audience. recording two songs right before spring break, actually, with Riders Rain Studios here in Columbia with Evan Cottrell. He's uh, really easy to work with and has great rates for any local bands if you're listening. Well, cool. I guess, is there any other backstory to this song we need to hear besides a, a shout out to the the people that made it possible, I guess? Well, actually, uh, the main riffs were uh, written over three years ago uh, with me and Paul. Um, and it was up until maybe two months ago, maybe a month ago, when it finally got together and we actually composed a song out of it. So. Mm-hmm. It's kind, it kind of something in the back pocket, and yeah. we were jamming around during a practice, and I kind of was like, all right, go with that. We're making lyrics. That's a song. So. All right, <laughs> cool. Then let's give it a listen, guys.
And we are back, and that was the song Reason from Pluto's Still a Planet. And if you weren't listening before and are listening now, those guys are in the studio with us. So uh, I guess we talked about that song before, and we kind of have an idea of your sound now. So just how, how have things been going, playing gigs and such? Yeah, uh, we just finished a pretty big gig this last Friday. Um, a while back in February, we had a Battle of the Bands sponsored by The Point that was a battle for Point Fest. And uh, we won the first round, pre- preliminary round show and made it into the final show this last Friday. And uh, we pretty much promoted the crap out of it, tried to get our two two song EP done and everything so we could have something to give out to people. And we got a really good draw and uh, they ended up announcing the winners this morning and we didn't get into Point Fest, but we're hopeful for other stuff in the future. So, Well, you live and you learn, you know. <laughs> so uh, I guess along those lines, what sort of things uh, do you all do for promotion as an up and coming band? Um, pretty much a lot of Facebook stuff. It's pretty helpful. Um, we like to make flyers. Um, one of my other hobbies is I paint space art, so it's convenient for uh, our name, Pluto Still a Planet. I'm able to use a lot of the paintings I do as backgrounds for show posters. So Now, I'll have to apologize for my lack of knowledge here, but define yeah, space, space art. art. Yeah, all right. Um, space art, if you look it up online, type in spray painting space art. It's basically just whenever people use buckets and magazine paper and make crazy space scenes really fast with spray paint. It takes usually like less than five minutes. So, so that, I can see that kind of fit in the, fit in the feel of this. It's, a very, <laughs> yeah. it's very loose, but not in a bad way. Yeah. It's sort of that whole, I, I don't know, I wish I had better adjectives, but sort of movement, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's very, very sort of fitting, I guess, space art. I guess I, I've learned something. <laughs> Even those of us in radio can learn things every once in a while. So, uh, always down to educate. There you go. That's that should be one of your uh, one of your interests. <laughs> and as I saw, I will just share these. I want to say you guys did a very good job of coming up with your interests on your Facebook page, which is at. If anybody wants to give a shout out here to the listenership, it is Facebook.com/slash PSAP Music, or you can search Pluto's Still a Planet. And that is with an apostrophe because we felt Pluto is still a planet was too long. I gotcha. <laughs> but uh, your, inter- no your interests include enjoying life, playing music, recording songs, booking shows, meeting new intellectually music people. And can someone define intellectually music? Uh, intellectually musical people. Oh. Um, those who s- share interest in writing uh, and sharing music. That's heartwarming. Yeah, pretty yeah. much anybody who likes to go out to shows and see new music. Yeah. And fittingly, we spreading would like the to word. Be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what more is there to life than that, I guess? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I guess if you guys, uh, you do have your instruments here, so yeah. would you like to play everybody a song? Sure, Live yeah. Live on the air on KCOU, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple songs. This song's called Smile. But you can't even take a breath Keep running on 
just a minute, sit back and relax. Drop your guard down, just listen to the sound, don't anticipate the attack. Just smile for me, and you'll see the whole world agrees that we're all in a better place when you just put away your frown. Just smile for me, and you'll see the whole world agrees. Can't you see the charge? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right, an enthusiastic response from our audience <laughs> here in the yeah. KCOU studio. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully some people were rocking out in their cars. Yeah. That's right. No, you can't see it. It's it's very cramped here. We've got the four band members oh, as well cozy. as... It's cozy, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's it's cramped in a good way. It's very... As well as a camera set up here and our <laughs> KCOU staff, it's very, it's very tight as opposed to this music, yeah. which is very pleasingly loose. As we, <laughs> we, we, we like loose. some very band loose. settings sometimes. We like to get down on some house parties occasionally. So, well, that, I guess that If anybody wants to hear us at a house party, hit us up on our Facebook. We're probably down. <laughs> well, excellent. That perfectly leads into my next question, which is uh, more along the lines of your, your gigs you're playing. And just, uh, I guess, I always love to ask bands, do you have any good stories of gigs you've played at this point? Any phenomenal? I mean, of course, we gotta keep it radio friendly. But like any particularly <laughs> great shows, and though I hate to ask, any particularly bad shows? Yeah, just... we had a really interesting thing happen this Friday. Actually, um, we just bought a new amp for Paul recently. We were getting ready for this final show, and uh, it's a has a tube preamp that leads into a solid state driver. So it's not necessarily a full tube amp, but it does have a single tube in it. And the tube managed to blow in transportation, and we didn't know it until our show. So we plugged in, and we heard the filament burn up. And then we had to go through about five minutes of the sound guy wanting us to check a bunch of different things whenever we knew we just needed to move on from that point. So, But the show went great. Otherwise, we ended up just running him through the house system, and it sounded Mm -hmm. pretty similar to how he sounds normally through his amp. So it worked out great. We just had to cut one song from our set. And then the best part of that is... We actually had about 120 people come out, and that was really, like, that felt great for me just because we've only been playing since October. So even though it was an important competition and people were coming out to show support, it was cool to have that kind of draw in six months of being a band. So, Yeah, that's that's a 120, that's 20 people a month. So <laughs> yeah. if, if that's the average, if you all have, like, a quota where you can only get 20 new fans a month and then you, like, yeah. cut it off and then mm-hmm. next month you can sign up for the list but oh my heart goes out on the two amp situation as yeah as someone who knows a little bit about that oh and then yeah. otherwise uh show situation um we're pretty excited we're going to be opening for a band called roster mccabe at mojo's coming up on april 25th it's going to be a wednesday night right at the end of the semester it's probably going to be our last show for the year so if anybody wants to come out for that once again it'll be april 25th at mojo's and roster mccabe's a really cool band i'm excited to see their show so well, cool, and you you all are from the area, yes? Sort of roughly around the Yeah, yeah, area. all four of us are students right now, and we're from St. Charles, Missouri, and Rob's from St. Louis, so. Okay, so you're from the area, but then I guess as students, you probably will all kind of be going separate ways 
for a while in the summer, um, or will you be continuing? We're, we're trying to stay here. We got a real nice house lined up with a good practice space for next year. We're excited about that. And uh, if everything works out, we should all be staying here. I actually graduate in May, but I got a full-time job at Socket here selling internet. So if anybody's having a problem with their internet, <laughs> hit up Socket. Right, and it's you'll, lightning fast. <laughs> yeah. And it's you'll feel better service. you're supporting the band by, oh, yeah. by getting Socket. Mm-hmm. So I guess, uh, do you guys want to play us another song here? Yeah, we got another one ready for you. The song's called Bacon and Eggs. <laughs> up drinking, I just had trouble sleeping, it's the day before the weekend, so teach me how to lie, teach me how to lie, how long have you been creeping, the kettle's still just steeping, the car alarm's been beeping, but I just stay to die. I just stay to die. I said I'm sorry, I know you won't call me, but at least you could tell me what to do. The shadows all around me have already found me And now they're taking over my room The curtains all around me are falling down But you won't hear a thing, you won't hear a sound By the time you wake, I'll be long gone And the way you felt before won't matter anymore Burst my bubble What's left for you to take What's left for you to take Please lay down your shovel Your words they are not subtle I'm buried in the rubble Can't you cut me a break Cut me a break I said I'm sorry I know you won't call me But at least you could tell me What to do The shadows all around me Have already found me And now they're taking over my Curtains all around me are falling down, but you won't hear a thing, you won't hear a sound. By the time you wake, I'll be long gone, and the way you felt before won't matter anymore.
Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah. And for anyone just tuning in, I am here in the studio with Pluto Still a Planet. And the name of that tune, guys, was Bacon and Eggs. Bacon and Eggs. I, I knew tasty. I was going <laughs> to. So tasty. I, I knew I was going to mess it up and forget which breakfast meat it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, Not sausage. That's right. Not yeah. sausage. But it was nope. decidedly tasty, in fact. <laughs> and uh, Pluto Still a Planet, I guess this is a question that I was curious about. Where'd that name come from? Yeah, we, we get that every once in a while. Um, I would say my best answer to that question is I was thinking of a bunch of different band names, and I was trying to think of something that everyone can relate to, and anyone our age was taught that Pluto was a planet, and then you're told it's not. And we're a pretty defiant generation, I'd say, so kind of saying, screw you, scientists. <laughs> my book said it was a planet, so I'm sticking to it. <laughs> it's a pretty bold statement to make coming out the gate. Is yeah, just giving the finger to the scientific community. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I respect science yeah, quite a bit. You all are a student, so I hope none of you are astronomy students. No. You don't no, like get in trouble generic. with the professor for that. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah, we're getting trouble for our name. No, I understand it's just a giant ice rock and has an irregular <laughs> orbit, but mm-hmm. you know you got to represent. We'd, mm-hmm. we'd like to stick for people to never forget Pluto. <laughs> well, now that we've figured out the, the origins, I guess, everything about Pluto Still Planet, what is the future hold in store? For yeah, for? Um, well, we got our first two songs done at Ride as Rain Studios, and we're planning on working with Evan Cottrell there a bit more over summer and for the rest of the school year here. And uh, hopefully we're going to finish our first album when we're trying to plan a CD release show at the beginning of next school year once everyone gets back to school. But uh, for right now, we got this show coming up uh, in April, April 25th, with Roster McCabe. And that's going to be a really fun show. We're looking forward to that a lot. And then otherwise, we're probably just going to book um, shows in St. Louis and, I don't know, maybe a few other places over summer. But we'll probably wait to play in Columbia again until next school year. Great. So uh, for anyone who may be listening outside of the Columbia range over the Internet, uh, what is sort of your touring range at the moment? Where could we expect to see you? Uh, pretty much just St. Louis and Columbia so far, but we'd like to head to Kansas City and Springfield, and we're going to try to hit most of the Missouri concert towns next next year, Cape Girardeau, uh, those areas. And then after that, um, we'd like to move up to Chicago and maybe Des Moines. Sure, De- Des Moines is an exciting place. Don't yeah. let anybody tell you any different. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess, gentlemen, as you said, you have two songs recorded, and we began with one of those, and I believe we will end with the other, uh, which is titled Get Up. But before we do that, um, do you guys have anything, any last words you'd like to say either about the song or just to our listeners at large? Uh, just uh, if you've enjoyed any of our songs that you've heard, check out our Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com slash music. Uh, or you can check out our website, plutostillaplanet.com. Uh, otherwise, come check out our show with Roster McCabe, and if you check uh, our Facebook page, you might find another show to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up here pretty soon. That we can't discuss on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry, for Get Up. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if you check out this next song, Get Up, uh, there's a few extra people on the track. It's pretty interesting. We got a little uh, harmony from our drummer's wife, Sherry. So that'll be pretty interesting whenever you hear that in the vo- in the chorus. So uh, basically, the song is about drinking. So every college kid should relate to it. So, well, great, uh, gentlemen. It's been great having you guys in and getting to meet you. And uh, we hope to see you guys again soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and without further ado, here is the track Get Up from Pluto's Still a Planet. Make sure you keep it locked right here on KCOU.
see who can laugh.